The if else statement is used to check if something is true or false. And if it's true, you can run some commands. And if it's false, you can run some other commands. This is a very useful command that you'll be using a lot. So if comma, and then you put an evaluation on it. So let's say, for example, you can see the operators down here. I just put, made a list of operators. Now let's say if uh, one is smaller than five, and we, this is an evaluation. So one smaller than five, is this true? If it's true, now tell me with a note, true. If I come here and I press if check, I get true. Yeah, one is smaller than five. Is it one bigger than five? Reload. No, it's not, it's not bigger than five, so it doesn't do anything. But maybe I want to say, well, if this is false, just give me false. And now if I reload and I check, yep, yeah, that's false, do this other command. We also have smaller or equal to. So if I say if one is bigger or equal to five, if one is smaller or equal to five, tell me it's true. So if I reload, yeah, that's true. If I say one, yeah, that's true. It's, it's equal to one, so it gives me true. Now, bigger or equal, smaller or equal, you get the picture. And you also have equal, which is two equal signs. And then you have the special ones. Now, and, or, and not. So let's start with not, which is the simplest one. And not is just a Boolean inversion. What do I mean by that? A Boolean number is a number that consists of either zero or one. One being true and zero being false. So I'm asking here if one, tell me it's true, else tell me it's false. So if I reload and I check, it gives me true because it's one and one it's true. If I say zero, it gives me false because zero is false. But if I place a, a not an exclamation point, which is a Boolean inversion here, and then I check again, now it's true because it's the inverse of whatever the evaluation comes out as. If I make the inverse of one, that's false. It turns the one to a zero. Now, and and or, it does exactly what, what it is. So I can say, is five bigger than three? And this may, may not make much sense right now because we're just using numbers. Um, but when once we get to variables, it will make a lot more sense. So if five is bigger than three, and I want to place this inside parentheses and say, and, and then I'll do something else inside parentheses and say, four is bigger than two. This is how I can use the and command. So I am evaluating two different things at the same time. So if both these things are true, it will give me true. If not, it will give me false. So let's just go for a false here and see what happens there. There we go, false, because even though five is bigger than three, I'm also asking and this evaluation has also to give me a three evaluation, otherwise it's gonna give me false. And this evaluation right now, it's, it's not true, so it's gonna give me false. The OR command is, if I now put an OR command here, and you can put as many as you like, AND and OR, and if I put a OR command here, and I'm evaluating these two, so I'm just gonna put these ones inside parentheses as well. If these guys are true, or if the next evaluation is true, and I'm gonna say four, is bigger or equal to four, for example, and I reload. 
Now I get a false because I didn't put this inside of parentheses. Reload. True. So you need to put them inside parentheses, otherwise it doesn't work as expected. So I hope you can understand this. I'm asking if 5 is bigger than 3 and 4 is smaller than 2. And then I'm saying or if 4 is bigger or equal to 4. So it gives me true because 4 is bigger, it's equal to 4. So basically I'm asking if an evaluation is true, give me something. If this is true, give me something and I can do whatever commands I want in there. Else, if it's not true, it's false and you're going to give me something else. And like you've seen in the, in the beginning, I don't actually need the false. I, I can just use the true. If true, do this. I hope you understand now the if else statement. Uh, I've done a preview. Uh, I previously done a video uh, explaining this, but I don't think it was very clear. So I'm doing this video again. And I hope this time it's clearer. So don't forget to like and subscribe. Share these videos so other people can learn as well. And I'll see you in the next video.